In this video, I will introduce gender. And I did this topic long time ago when we say we make any noun from masculine to feminine by adding tamarbuta to the end of the noun. But here I want to mention gender again because I'm still talking about body parts. Some of the body parts are feminine. And so let's get started with this topic and let's do some examples. Remember, we said Arabic nouns are either feminine or masculine. In most cases, the feminine noun is formed by adding tamarbuta to the end of the masculine noun, which is what we have learned before. Here are some examples. Ustad, to make it feminine, you add tamarbuta, ustada, Talib, Taliba, Jamil, Jamila, Wahid, Wahida. We did this before, and just to remind you, we said if the noun is professions, an adjective, or number, we can add or remove Tamarbuta. This is as 101 level, because we still have some nouns are feminine. And they do not end with Tamar Buddha. So we have to pay attention to that as well. That's why I'm doing this video. To show you that body parts, which is a new rule I just want to add today, some of the body parts that come in pairs are feminine. And here you have to memorize them or just to remember. As I said, some of, not all of them. Let me give you some examples. When we say eyes, eyes are feminine. Again, some of the body parts that come in pairs, we call them feminine nouns. Shoulders, ears, these are feminine nouns. هذه عين. هذه عين. We don't say هذا, this. We use هذه, the feminine demonstrative word. هذه عين. هذا أنف هذه أذن أذن if it comes again just go over the rule again again as I said some of the body parts that come in pairs we call them feminine nouns not all of them هذه يد you see yet it doesn't end with تمربوطة but it's feminine that's why you have to memorize some of them 